Howdy folks, I'm the roleplay gamer and I like to party. I almost forgot who I was there for a second. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dark Ranger. We have uh, made temporary camp uh, here at the uh, the big old uh, fire just south of the cave that we uh, we explored slightly last episode. So an interesting thing has happened. Uh, aside from the fact that we've got a, a rather skinny and malnourished looking uh, Argonian hanging around, which uh, uh, he will join our cause, come hell or high water. Uh, so our our two vigilants that we recruited uh, make you know pay no mind to the uh, the possessed HQ marker there. The two vigilants that we have recruited seem to have brought with them. Where have they gone? Where did they go? You saw them. They were right there, right? They brought with them a couple of sort of generic, unnamed vigilants, which was interesting. Now they've disappeared. Now they've wandered off. So I hope that's a thing that continues. Ah, there we go. They're swimming away. So it looks like they've spawned a couple of, um, I suppose, like a comp uh, unnamed companion each. And, uh, and then they, they ran off, which is interesting. Hope they come back. Hello, uh, lizard sir. Tidings. Uh, to you as well. Look, let's just get right down to brass tacks. We're taking over your little island here, so you can either join us or you can die. Are you going to join us? Of course. That's a wise choice. So just, you know, hang around and, and uh, do whatever until I give you an order. Excellent. I think you'll be glad you made this decision. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, so I like the idea of actually rebuilding... This is still stealing. This is not good. And the bed is still owned, unfortunately, even though it's in our guild. That's okay. That's alright. Uh, I like the idea of... of rebuilding the Vigilant as a corrupt organization. This, uh, this appeals to me, and it looks like these two Vigilants might have caught on to my evil plan and now they're committing frosty suicide uh, in the uh, in the middle of this frozen ocean. So that's a thing. <laughs> Maybe I should just scurry. I mean, if they ever get to shore, I might just recruit them straight up. See what happens. All right, so enough of this. Uh, using the, the warmth of the fire here, I have... Are they floating close? I think they are very slowly floating to shore. That's cool. Uh, utilizing the warmth of the fire, I've harvested quite a bit of dead wood. Dead wood, rather, which should do us for, I think, two fires. So I'm going to... Yeah, they're totally coming close. I'm totally going to uh, start up camp here. And by camp, I mean our actual stronghold, our village. Okay, so I want to do this fairly quickly so I don't freeze. In fact, I might just use a torch to get us going. Uh, I've got to put down a well and then I'm going to put down a fire. This is not probably, this is probably not the best way to go, but <laughs> we've gotten there in the end. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay. Where are we going to put our well, our center of town? All right, this should be exciting. Okay, we've got a little, we've got a, a look out here. I like this. I like this very much. I suppose maybe at the peak here, a general, like the flattest area we can find. Maybe there. That could kind of work for us. So we go to uh, food, plans, water well. Oh man, I'm going to have to remember all these uh, extra controls for rotating. Um, use the left and right mouse buttons while in rotate mode. Change the axis of rotation. Hold the X or Y button while rotating. Distance is Z. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I might just put it there. What does that look like from the other side? Ah, it kind of looks like shit. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so I've been given uh, boundary markers for the outpost. It is uh, recommended that these are spread out in each direction. There is a minimum distance you must be from your water well to place each boundary. To begin placement 
Um, open your inventory under the food category and place each other boundary markers. Okay. All right. Can we, can we move this? View latest, place special order, done. No. Damn it. That, maybe I can put something there to cover it up. Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> I mean, oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. I don't know what that is. Ah, let's do this. Under food. Boundary marker A. So let's, uh, let's put it to the, that is north over there. So I meant <laughs> the fire was to the north of this place, not the south. All right. Ah, okay. My sprinting has fucked up again. Why does it keep doing that? Now we're fixed. Splendid. So we're going to put these, uh, at the borders of our town here. Lon fa oh, Lon failed their job. Right. That's not good. Lond is going to get a spanking when he returns. Okay, let's let's try and not put it in the water. And there we go. Unit's too far. Too far from the water well. Really? That doesn't seem right. Okay, what if I put it here? Object has been constructed. Okay, good. Good. So, we, obviously, we can't make our town uh, bloody enormous. Which is a shame, really. Okay, alrighty, alright. Got an itchy nose, that's why I keep <laughs> scratching it. Uh, where is food? Food is where it is, okay. So, I assume maybe that marker is the center of town. So, we've got one sorted to the south, so now we'll go west. Uh, this will be, when we set up patrols, I think this will be where they move between. So, yeah, we can probably put it here. Let's not put it in the rock, because that doesn't really make sense. Unit must be used far away from the water well. Oh, it wasn't far enough. Is that what was going on? Hang on, but that didn't make sense, because I brought it closer. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe this one's not far enough, and the other one was too far. Let's see. Can we put it here? Too far! Fucking hell! Now we're too far from the water well. Ah, so it looks like we're going to have to put it on the cliff or something. Unless, can we just put it here? Okay, we can put it there. Uh, marker C. I apologize if this is boring. Has to be done. We're probably not going to be able to have it that far. What if we just, uh, if we just plonk it there? It's too far. That's like a shitload too far. Okay. Let's try up here then. Actually, maybe not here. Move up a little bit. We'll go the wrong way again. <laughs> Mountain climbing simulator 2015. Despite the fact that the game came out in 2011. Okay, so there's a center. Let's, uh, let's just head north as far as we can. Maybe here? Come on. Come on. Hang on. You must go further away. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Okay. This is where we were before, though further away from the water well, so we're not far enough. Okay, what if we put it here? A near little bit further away, okay. That works. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, last one, last one. And then we're good to go. Don't worry about it, guys. We'll be good to go. Maybe I should have done this off camera. No worries. What's done is done. Okay. Can we get away? This is probably going to be too far, but let's give it a go. Further away. Okay. Oh, I just realized that it's actually going to glow green when it's, uh, when it's appropriately far away. All right. You have been given the plans for an outpost office. This building will serve as your management resource. It allows you to modify blah, blah, blah. I think it's also sort of like the... You can sleep there and whatnot. But let's do this. Just want to check what that is. 
Okay, so that's just a general marker for the place. Okay, let's uh, pop down this uh, outpost office. Once we get the basics done, um, is that the door? I think it is. Ooh, <laughs> I might just put it into the rock there. Yeah, that seems like an appropriate place to, uh, to go. Okay. Distance mode enabled. Rotation mode enabled. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on. One more. All right. Distance mode. Yeah. And we'll put it... Come on, a little bit. All right, we're going to have to go under the... Wait a second. It's got to look pretty. <laughs> There we go. It's a little bit scummy. No, that's kind of hanging off the cliff, isn't it? Oh, it's good enough. It's fine. <laughs> oh, give me plans for a door. Okay, this is like the worst part of, of this whole experience. The fact that now I have to manually put a door on. Okay, all right. Okay, let's bring it in a little bit closer. I am very cold. This is not good. Rotation mode. Come on. Is it even the right way around? It's not. Come on. Come on. Don't make me come over there. You fucking door. Okay. That was, that was probably... That escalated quickly. That was that was perhaps an, an overreaction. I apologize. Sir Adol, and or Madam Door. Ah... Uh... There you go. Is that appropriate? Can we go inside? Okay, give me plans for barracks. Ha <laughs> ha! It worked! Okay. This is good. I don't want to click the table. I want to grab the coin. Thank you very much. Okay, alright. And we've got warmth in here. This, it's a good thing. This is a good thing. That is empty. Alright. Let's not uh, worry about that. Uh, so we've got a barracks now, so we can we can start to hire uh, guards and whatnot. That looks terrible. Don't worry about it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> I'm tempted to put the barracks down. Uh, maybe next episode. Like, do we head out and uh, fuck some people up? Because once we put the barracks down, I think we're going to start uh, being attacked. So I might get my vigilance, and we'll head out and we'll start doing some conquering. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, kids? <laughs> All right, so we'll do a little, we'll mix it up. We'll do a bit of building and a little bit of uh, killing things. All right. Whoa, okay, everyone's back now. <laughs> everyone's back. How much gold do I have? Not much, but it's enough for one more job. All right, let's... Uh... I envy you, travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. Okay, um, I need everything you have obtained from, uh, your last job. Alright, a carrot, a lockpick wine, some flawless rubies. I mean, the rubies are alright, and I suppose the lockpick is acceptable. You failed your job, you motherfucker. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Okay, report. What have you, what have you brought back for me? Okay, a gold necklace, ring of minor health, ooh, I'll, I'll take that, a human heart, I don't even want to know how we got that, but good work, Ravum. Alright, let's, let's wear that ring, baby. Where is it? Minor destruction, ring of minor health, oh, that's the one. You're wrong to come here, stranger. No rest in Dawnstar. Well, as you might have noticed, we're not in Dawnstar anymore, we're in... Uh, uh, new Fellhammer. We're in, we're in, um, Ask Kickberg. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll take suggestions in the comments for, for what to call this place. All right. Uh, so we stop mouthing at me silently and give me what you have obtained from your last mission. 
Okay, apple pie, fox pal. So I think I... Did I send her to hunt? Maybe? I could use a pelt because uh, I do have some more crafting options as a result of the custom armor I've, uh, I've uh, installed. What do you need, my friend? I would like you to follow me. We're going to... Uh, uh, we're, we're going to go vigilant. Vig vigilate. Lead the way. We're, we're vigilating. Divine smile on you, friend. You too. Lead the way. Okay. And Deacus, he's, I'm gonna, I think, I think I'd like Deacus to be like my steward. He can hold down the fort, uh, so to speak. Actually, I will send someone else out. Lond, you're, you're shit. Um, I don't like taking orders from a boy, but I need the gold. You no longer get the gold, Until so, next time. fuck you. Friends like you are hard to find, and very valuable to me. You're being nice to me, so I have a job for you. If you, I swear to God, if you continue with this silent mouthing nonsense, I won't give you any jobs. I need you to uh, go steal some shiny things in the pail. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay. Luckily, that only cost us 60 because we leveled up the guild. I'm going to save it here just because I feel like... I'm feeling a little bit paranoid. <laughs> Do we get a, a, a marker for, like, a fast travel? Not that it really matters, but... I mean, at least we can... I suppose we can go to Ingville, like, if, if worse comes to worse. All right. Uh, the Vigilance following me. <laughs> Look at these motherfuckers. Just, they're still, they're still there. Very, very slowly making it to shore. What if I wait for them? No, they're swimming out again. And what's happened to my vigilance that should be following me? Are they just hanging around, those fuckers? Oh. Uh, okay. This is good that I got the command wheel for them. Okay. They should be following me. Maybe I just have to get far away enough. They better be following me. Otherwise, I swear to Stender. <laughs> I will end them. Okay, water is frigid. Don't worry, we should be fine. We should get to Dawnstar before we freeze. And first, I'm going to... They come in or what? Hopefully, they'll just teleport to me. Uh, first, I'm going to sell all the valuables that I've obtained. Uh, or rather, my minions have obtained. And then I think I'm going to kill some people. <laughs> ah, this, this is not a good way to go. Alrighty, alrighty. I am so looking forward to... To uh, building settlements in Fallout 4. Ah, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Come with me or what? <laughs> See those fucking vigilance of Stendhal, they're not to be trusted. Even even when you try and side with them. Admittedly to infiltrate their ranks and uh, ultimately fuck them up. Even when you side with them, they're like, nah, dog. Nah. Oh, okay. Now have they registered as following me? Yeah, health bars have shown up. I love that, by the way. Just, <laughs> just a little side note. I'd also like to interject and, and let you guys know how fucking difficult it is to record this goddamn game. It's... Oh, man. Whenever I hit... All right, the home key is my... Can I sell something to her? Or him? Is he going to take my valuables? The home key is my hotkey for the main thing, right? You know, that's my thing, and this is, that's what I press. Uh, when I press home, it goes to this screen, right? Uh, half of the time, literally, 50% of the time that I hit it, it crashes the game. Has anyone else experienced that? Like, just playing, like, hitting home, for example, and it crashes your game. That doesn't make any sense. Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. 
Well, what have you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. That's what they all say. Okay, what can we sell to this salty motherfucker? Doesn't look like he's going to take my valuables. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, well, I suppose you can take... What do I not need? The iron, I dare say. Yeah, I don't need the iron armor. I'll keep the fur for now. Come back if you need steel. Well, actually, I, I need gold. Where can I sell that? There's got to be a God, general I'm store. So tired. There's there's got to be. This doesn't look like it. No. Um, you'd think there'd be a sign or something, right? This is an alchemy shop. I don't think I've ever been unless. I don't think I can get away with selling valuables to the inn. That doesn't seem right. Anyway. Jeez, it takes... <laughs> I kind of wish I could get away with doing uh, longer episodes. Dawnstar Barracks? Or I suppose we'll try. Next, e next episode, we, uh, we're going to have to fuck some people up, I think. As risky as it, as it may prove to be. Hello. Need a room? Don't worry. Nightmares don't seem to happen for travelers. Actually, I'd just like to sell you something. I'm not, I'm not really concerned about these nightmares. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. <sighs> Is only going to take my... <sighs> Fuck this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And check out my music at RicardoStartDate.com. <clears throat> Link in the description, as always. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer. Out.